Hello. Hi. Hello there. Oh, I like that. How's it going? Good. How about you? How, how are you doing? I mean, it's been a while since we've hung out. <laughs> so I'm very excited to be here with you today. I know. You've been on a, a work trip. But. So glad to be back. <laughs> but. We have to say hello. Yes, yes. Hello, everybody. How is it going? Let's see. We got San Diego. We got Vegas. Ooh. I know we've got Jersey in here. We've got some. We've got some some travelers, yeah. if you will. Um, but yes, I was on a work trip. I, I, I don't know even how, know how this is possible, to, but of course, my work trip for my day job. How day job. Convenient <laughs> is all I gotta say. Nothing. But my day job has nothing to mama. do. Oh, hello, hello, everybody over on Instagram. Um, as always, we're live streaming. I think this is just our norm now. So like we live stream to Instagram and YouTube yeah. at the same time. But my day it's job a, has it's a different day. It's this a different Friday. day. So let's, so let's thank talk you, about every this. one of you. Yes. That's in here on a Friday. Thank you. Thank so you, thank you so for much. being here today. Um, but yeah, my day job has absolutely nothing to do with travel or theme parks or anything of the sort. And it just so happened I had a work conference at the theme parks this week. <laughs> uh, but it was it was good. We were going to do our live stream yesterday like normal. We don't like to impede on, on people's Friday nights because uh, we assume everybody else is cooler than us and has things to do. They are, but. Yeah, I, yeah we assume, you know but what? we also know they are. <laughs> but we have nothing better to do, so. Here we are. Yeah, we're going to. Here we're we talk. are. But yes, so we were going to live stream yesterday. Um, my flight should have gotten me home around almost seven our time. So we, I would have had like enough time to get here, get a little bit settled, and then we could have live streamed. But my flight got delayed two hours, so it didn't work out. <laughs> Bad Batch Mama says, I'm just reading smut. Ooh, my um, my ebook from Libby for Crescent City just got... I my my time on the list just came up, so I have the physical copy of the book, but I'm like, well, I'll probably actually read it if it's on on my phone. Let's see. Oh, and then we got Jeffrey in here because no NHL hockey, so that's what we got to schedule our around our the hockey season. <laughs> well, we'll know Jeffrey's in here. Well, poor AP said he's been curled in a corner Oof. waiting for the last 24 hours for this stream to start. Yep. Man, AP. Ooh, Julie says, we got back this morning, 5 a.m. from Disneyland and Star Wars night. Ready to chat ab all about it. We are ready to hear all about it. Exactly. That corner of Coruscant is here over on Instagram. And they posted such a good guide in their stories of, like, here's the good, here's the bad, here's the ugly, here's the tips. Like, if you haven't been to Disneyland in a long time or, like, you're not a local, here's the things that you should do. Here's the things to avoid. I was like, this is amazing. So I just pointed everybody to his page <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> well, before we get onto that. Okay. Like we typically, if you're new, we'd like to go over basically the last episode uh, to kind of just refresh any like little tidbits that we need to add to it. Um, so I think we should do that first. Okay, fair. And it was in regards to, <sighs> I think this is a, it was a bit of, I guess clickbait because it was like this was something that you and I were like going back and forth at because you're like they're secret games I'm like they're not really secret games she if goes, yeah, nobody but, knows about them it's a secret <laughs> but it's not a secret because it's like well known it's just people don't talk about it so it's more of like a not talked enough about okay but so we anyways we put secret games and these are like scavenger hunts and um what else like these card games that were that existed and kind of just like location based games within the park. Yeah. Like where they move you through. And these are like, like one of our. Hunts. We like them because they are like hidden gems. Right. That's what it should have been. Games. <laughs> <laughs> but we like them because there's there's ways to do stuff at the park that's not rides and not eating. Right. And there's no weights for these things, which I think is really important because when the wait times are high for rides, we are like, we don't want to stand in that. And we have two young kids and like the kids don't want to stand in that. And so like, we don't want everybody to be miserable. So rather than that, let's go do something that we can all enjoy. And that is these 
hidden gems, if yeah. you will. Um, they've taken some away from us. They've given us some that maybe aren't so great. But we we should call out a couple. Or there was oh, one that... We'll, we'll hit on that in a little bit. Too. Yeah, we'll talk about Das in a minute. The one that I think people commented on or like reached out to us the most about was Bina's creature. Oh, is yeah. Is it creature crawl? I think it's creature crawl. because it's Creature hunt. But it it is a very cute hunt that you can do in Batu, but it's only at West. West. I almost said East. It's only at Disneyland. And the reason is is a cast member actually came up with it. So the tracks were already in the land, I believe. But a cast member saw an opportunity and made a game based off of that. And so they kept it. Which is awesome. Which it's is incredible amazing. that they like let that, you know, here you're motivated, put put it together, knock it out. Yeah. But it, we, I guess we need that same motivation on the East. Or just, like, share. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you already <laughs> did it. It wouldn't be that difficult to just kind of share the love. So I don't understand why they don't do it in East. But we have we have the actual, like, little – because it's a, a little booklet that they give you. And so we have booklets. We got them, I think, last time we were there for Life Day when we had the kids with us. But we were busy doing Life Day stuff, so we never got to actually do it. Um, but that that is one. I that wonder we if it it does translate like directly over to uh, Disney World. I think it might. I was actually talking to some cast members that are at Disneyland, and they're like, "I'm pretty sure all the mechanics and all the things are there. Like, it could very easily be brought over." I don't. I just don't know why. Just make it a thing. Make it a thing. I will. Thank you, Sunfield. Um, uh, you want to talk about the new helmet that you just ordered while I was away? Uh, oh, yeah, the uh, Shock Trooper uh, dropped at Hasbro. Or on Hasbro. Hasbro Is it like dropped. yesterday or two uh, days two ago? Day. But yeah, it like came out of nowhere. How did uh, you even find out about it? I was just checking it. <laughs> just. So do you just like check it? Open your helmets app. Nothing good. Close it. Open your sneakers app. Nothing good. Doesn't everybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's... Are we going to C2E2? Uh, but uh, anyway, so the episode... Uh, yeah, I want to get to this we'll other stuff. We'll get into all this. Um, the episode was, was, a, was a fun episode. I, my main thing from it, my big outcome that I want everybody is just to pay attention to more of these things, which was fantastic because people brought up a bunch of other games. And some of them we kind of knew, but... Again, just reminding us that there's these games there. Right. So there's like the um, uh, Adventureland one. So there's like the the Pirates one. We talked about the Pirates one. But, but I mean, like people were, people were telling us to oh, go, go like do it. Go yeah, do like, it. oh, it's, it's really good. The Beena's one. Um, uh, you know, we talked about doing the ones at the different resorts, mm -hmm. the little scavenger hunts, We've the Skyliner that. one. Yep. So it was just like, just giving more attention to these things so you don't always get stuck of like, what do I do? What do I do? There's these secret games, hidden gems. Yeah. There's the, also uh, the um, the Christmas tree scroll or stroll over at Disney Springs, Disney Springs yeah. during Christmas time. Um, but yeah, so there there was some really good ones. There were some really and good in, comments and again, on that we, one. It kind of was prompted from Season of the Force. And so that was kind of like our, maybe our next thing. But, like AP was talking about, they had changes to DAS. They, they do. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming at the end of May. Um, but while, before we wrap too much on the last episode, I had been looking forward to making that episode for like an entire year. <laughs> and, of course, it was like one of our worst performing <laughs> episodes this year. I was like, oh, man. I love that episode. Like, th truly, 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 when we go to the parks, like, this is the one thing that we we look forward to doing more so than rides and so like i'm happy that that information is all out in the world in an episode i'm just like sad that just like Meow. and also like go do the deck tales like if you well, but that's the thing that, that was like where we couldn't figure out a, the the correct discussion point because you don't want to give away what these games are like but you know tell you okay go do this you know go here go here like, right here's a how to to finish the you know complete the game right and it's we're more also like not bringing like a, aware to uh about those games we're also not like a top seven 
you know, scavenger hunts in Disney World or anything like that. Like we don't make those types of like list videos typically. And so it's that's where we're always like, we want to talk about these really cool things that we enjoy, but like how do we talk about them in a way that is a conversation and not just like reading off of a list and next yeah. Cause we're two people. Like we have to have a conversation <laughs> or it's going to be really dry. <laughs> it, it's uh, did you see that? The, the video I posted that that's what it was reminding me of. Oh, the third, like the, the other podcast. Host. Yeah. And you're like jumping in you're like, and then what happened? Like mm-hmm. I was, I was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a lot more people that have joined us. Um, let's, let's catch. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So, Oh, somebody said that there Jace is does the, it, goes and checks on the Amazon for the helmet prices. That there's a scavenger hunt in the Seas Pavilion. There is. There's a little, like, um, Finding Dory scavenger hunt, and it's a tiny little sticker book, and you go through, and you have to find them. I think we've done, like, maybe half of it, but it's also just, like, stickers, and our youngest really but loves stickers. But you know stickers. the ultimate game, uh, scavenger hunt that we did not mention is the Hidden Mickeys? Is like what everybody always does. Yeah, but that's not like. I mean, that I think that's an overlying. There's no rules. Scavenger, <laughs> scavenger hunt. So there's no like master list of hidden <laughs> Mickey's. Okay, let's let's catch up a bit. So I know we talked about um, Das. So let's go back to Das. So from what I understand, they are. The amount of people that were utilizing DAS in the last, I think, five years increased by 300%. It was either 300% in five years or 500% in three years. But I really think it was the 300% in five years. Um, And so they felt that people were misusing the system. And so in order to try to get it back to how it was before, they're putting more more things in place to to make sure that the people are, that are utilizing DAS actually need more DAS. restrictions. It's just more restrictions. Um, I think this is a perfect example of this is why we can't have nice things. Um, making it difficult for people that need it and for people that were abusing it is again you're making it hard for for people. Right. Um. And, you know, again, we're, we're fortunate enough we don't have to use it. Uh, but at the same time, is okay. They, you know, there's people that do need it. Yeah. So, you know, it, let them let them utilize it when, when they need to, right? Well, and it, so it's... <laughs> oh, I didn't even post that thing earlier. I got oh. so distracted. Cal just said getting major shaggy vibes from screen right. Green's your color. I meant to don't post it. Don't make me laugh. Really... Like, <laughs> My, I have a very <laughs> Scooby laugh. So when you really, truly, genuinely laugh, it is a it's a <laughs> Scooby laugh, and it's so good. But we went on a date earlier today, and I looked over, and I was like, "You're dressed like Shaggy," and I had on like a like a pink shirt, and I was like, "I'm kind of like a I, not Velma, who was it? Daphne. Daphne. I was like, I'm kind of dressed like Daphne, and it was kind of funny." But then we got in the car and I took a video of it because we were laughing so hard about it. And one of the songs from the Scooby-Doo movie like <laughs> just started playing. <laughs> we were like, what is happening? <laughs> I should, I'll, I'll post it later. Um, but anyway, so yeah, DAS, DAS is getting more restrictive. I think they're going to start requiring like some kind of, of confirmation of like what it is that. So AP says, here, let me see. I need my mouse. Down there? Mouse right here. Oh, that one. Uh, Lynn Testa and Jim Hill have an interesting podcast about DAS changes this week, including stats. Ooh, so, okay. Um, I, what, I guess what is the the podcast, AP? Uh, Lynn Testa is... He owns Touring Plans. So, um, again, just... For as much information as possible, you know, make sure you go check it out. Yeah, but DAS, and I know we keep saying DAS, but DAS is the disability um, access services, I believe. And so what it was and what it is meant to be is for people that do have disabilities that can't wait for the full line 
like Q time. I am terrible with my words today. I don't know what, like why words are escaping me all of a sudden. I'm so nervous. It's a Friday night. That's what it is. A new, new day. <laughs> um, you could basically get a return time. And so whatever the, like whenever you were going to get DAS, if say you were wanting to ride, say Rise of the Resistance and it's a 60 minute wait, then basically you could return in 60 minutes and go through the, the lightning lane to to not have to wait in line so if if for whatever i mean reason, you're still waiting you're just waiting, you're waiting outside the line i know this is your biggest beef with <laughs> lightning i know lane. but i mean gets that's the thing is like you're still waiting you're just not waiting in that line you're waiting here right you know, but wh- if you wherever have, you need to if you have something where you could go like you are more comfortable waiting outside or like you know, yeah not i mean in the queue. I, that's the thing is like you're just not here physically you're still waiting in line yeah but I've seen I've seen a lot of complaints about it and like there are so many different disabilities, right? There's you've got people with physical disabilities, you have people with like like digestive disabilities, you have people with like respiratory disabilities, you have people on the spectrum that like can't stand still for that long and there's all of these different things and it's like how it's difficult I think to put together a system that's fair to everybody that needs it but also keeps out the people that were taking advantage of it yeah and and i think that's a it's a it's it's a difficult place but i think that again the thing was is like when you see it being used as a hack again it it's icky yeah so i think that's that's where it's like you know it was taken advantage of and yeah. so then there has to be rules um so yeah I, I mean we i don't have like as much knowledge as you um but i know it is something of you know people's concern because it, it's it's hoops that they're gonna have to jump through just to have a a normal day yeah well for people that were kind of not like barely qualified but we're on the cusp like people that have ibs and they're like i might poop my pants if i'm having to wait in a line a hot outdoor line for like 60 minutes are they going to qualify for it going forward again i i think it's a it's it's one of those there's so much gray area to it we don't we don't know what it's going to be like until it actually rolls out but that's where i think a lot of people are concerned about it and i've seen a lot of people like travel agents specifically some of the groups i'm in that are like watch genie plus prices soar after they crack down on on das more because there were people that were using das as free genie plus unfortunately yeah Yeah. but that's where we are now um ap i have multiple disabilities primary one being lou gehrig's disease DAS has been game changing for me, but now they are wording it for developmental disabilities, not mobility or other. I think the statement that they released was not as comprehensive as it should have been because they only called out developmental disabilities. But you, it's they can't just. I they don't think there's any way they could just limit it to that. Yeah. So. I, yeah. I, I, again, it, it's it's a delicate balance. I. I'm hopeful that Disney's able to achieve what they're want to, wanting to achieve. Uh, and I know the the sentiment behind it, or yeah. I feel I know the sentiment behind it. Right. Um, no, they, they straight up said, like, they put the stats. Disney is the one that put the yeah. stats out so, there. But, I mean, that's, that's what it should be. The more, like, where I think people should be more focused on. Yeah. Is if it's something that you really need, hopefully you're still taken care of. Yeah. It's just to kind of weed out the ones that didn't need it and were taking advantage and making it hard for you and everybody else. Right. Yeah. No. So. Oh, that's the other thing. They're limiting the amount of people that can join on a single DAS. Uh, Guy Dan Ston says he thinks it up, it's up to six now. I think right now it's six, and I think they're limiting it to four, or maybe it was eight, and now six. Anyway, the number Change is the going numbers, down. Yeah. yeah, so you can't bring everybody in your party with you. So it's it's changing. I think it's going to be like when they move from Lightning Lanes to Genie Plus, or sorry, Fast Pass to Lightning Lanes. 
they changed and then everybody was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And like freaked out and they made some adjustments. They made it so that you could modify an existing lightning lane instead of dropping it and trying to pick up a new one. Same with like the reservation system. Yeah. Like it's going to be really bad for a while. People are going to, to raise their concerns and then they'll, they'll adjust. Yeah. At least I hope. Yeah. Sometimes they listen. Sometimes they don't. I mean, I think this one, it, it is definitely one that I feel Disney would listen to. Yeah. I think you kind of uh, have I to. Think, I think they're a lot more, you know, because we've seen, you know, I, I hate I hate comparing the two, but Universal and Disney, Disney seems to be a lot more uh, accessible to, to different writers. And that's one of the things that we always noticed. Yeah. So it's, I think they want to keep being able to do that. Yeah. You know, I think they so. don't want to exclude people just because of, you know, some kind of disagreement. Yeah. Like the worst thing you can do right now is like exclude people. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Six to four. That's what it is. Yeah. There we go. The Disney dish. That's Len Testa's. Okay. Podcast. There you go. Uh, but yeah. So that's, that's some of the changes. I, so I was looking back at some of the things that have just happened to us in life since our last live stream. Can you believe that the solar eclipse happened since our last podcast? No. Yeah. So we haven't talked about it? No. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I thought we did. We talked, we had a patreon oh, coffee okay. chat that's where we talked about it yeah 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 i think that's what it is but we didn't have a live stream where we talked about it it feels like ugh, it's such old news now it's so last I, week it feels it's literally it was last monday it feels like it's a long time ago i know doesn't it <laughs> so we will we'll recap briefly because it's uh it's not on trend anymore to talk about the solar eclipse <laughs> we went to fort worth we have family that lives out there and it was kind of on a whim i think we decided um a, what like the week before like yeah, a week or two before <laughs> yeah why not we did we had family that family we had everybody over for easter and we're like hey you live in the path of totality can we come crash at your place and so we went um it was our family of four and then my brother and that was really fun because like as an adult you don't get to spend that much like two full days with your brother <laughs> but it was a lot of fun because like truly you don't get to do that yeah. so getting to hang out with a sibling for that long was really cool. Um, but here was here was the rub. It took us three and a half hours from where we started, because we didn't even start at home, from where we started to Fort Worth. It was fine, it was great. We had a wonderful night in Fort Worth. And then it took us seven hours to drive home. Twice as long. Oof. Yeah. Nah, but it was... wasn't even all traffic. Well, we... We got off track because we went to eat, and then it eat. took us down like a different road, and then it started raining. And again, it's just like highway road driving. Like it literally took us down the scenic route. Yeah, <laughs> by a lot. We were, we were driving in hill country for sure. Like there was points where, like, is this an actual road? Is this actually <laughs> paved? Uh, and then by the time we got closer to town, there was traffic, so it was just like. Oh. It was rough, man. Yeah, Coming yeah, it home. Was, it was, it was but it was right. great. The yeah. the eclipse itself, the, the trip was fun. It was a lot of fun. But uh being in the path of totality was like so it was so worth it. Yeah. That was I think going into it, I wasn't so excited. I was just kinda like, Oh, that's cool, like whatever. But experiencing it the way that we did, or where we were just like waiting for it and just like that anticipation anticipation yeah. going into it then it going like completely dark and getting colder yeah it, it was just like just this bizarre feeling and then immediately going away and it's the middle of the day again like it it's it was just wild it was so much fun so cal says probably the most beautiful thing i've witnessed truly awesome it was so cool yeah. like it was not and then too there's like that energy because there's everybody else's like just you could feel it. Everybody's getting excited about it and just kind of like freaking out about it too. Because we were like on the top of a 
parking garage. Yeah. So everybody's getting excited about it. Yeah, it was it was beautiful. Uh, AP says total eclipse twenty forty five over Orlando. See you all there in Galaxy's <laughs> Edge. How fun will that be? Hopefully, there's Galaxy's Edge still there. That was my first thought too when I read the comments. <laughs> like it's twenty one years from now. <laughs> Star Cruiser didn't last two years. So. Jeffrey's been under totality three times. It's always Dang. amazing. That's incredible. Driving. Danny spent the whole day yelling, save, save the, the cheerleaders. <laughs> save the cheerleaders, yes. save the world. Those. I got a video of it, and that's what it looked like. It looked like the intro to. That's literally what you were like. It looks like the hero's intro. Yeah. It was such a good show for the first oh, season. I heard they were going to reboot it. Danny, were they gonna reboot? Are they gonna reboot it? Give us the info. Did they already do it? No. Well, they had season one. But didn't they have like a spinoff or something? Yes. Uh, but no, I think they're gonna fully reboot it. Wow, Jeffrey says the first two times was on a cruise ship, once in the Caribbean, once in the Black Sea. Whoa. How? how so Je <sighs> okay, Jeffrey says I've heard they're trying to reboot it. So did they for okay, but your cruise ship totality eclipses were they planned specifically to be in the path of totality during that like during the eclipse? Like was it a specific eclipse cruise, or was it just incredibly lucky that that's where you happen to be? Because that feels like I think that has to be planned. It or has what? to. Be. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but like yeah. really good luck if you weren't. Okay. They were planned. Okay, that's right. Cool. <laughs> Sprint the. Spent the day doing laundry. Needed a clean moss shirt oh. for Bayside. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna Brent, go see Bayside. Brent, he's over in uh, in line. He said to go see our boy Nick. Yeah, that'll be fun. Enjoy it. We so that was another thing that's happened since since the eclipse. So yeah. we went and saw the eclipse. We came back, and then at the end of that week, Bayside was here in our town, um, and so we got to go see that, and it was really cool because we decided to take our oldest to the concert because his first concert yeah he really loves bait like he really really loves bayside and listening to all of the music and so we got to take him to his very first concert together and it was just like a little baby <laughs> and a call like we're so old that we're like the parents i think here that's what concert. it felt like it's like i'm so old that my kids at his first concert and knew more of the songs than you did yeah <laughs> at least one oh, agent cool, that specializes in eclipse cruises sometimes they're chartered other times the lines do it due to demand oh that's cool chad brown is here very cool kd we were in totality watched it from the barn where we keep our horse bear the horse <laughs> careless <laughs> oh yeah i've seen that picture then then uh they, you have to put that little the blinders on the horse. Why? During the eclipse? Yeah, so they wouldn't look up, I guess, at it. I, all I know is, like, we were threatening our kids. Like, do not look at the sun <laughs> without these special glasses. And then, like, we were terrible because we went last minute. Like, we did not buy glasses until the night before. Yeah. And we were just, like, trying to go into every store possible. Like, do you have glasses? <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah, it was fun. But, yeah, we did the solar eclipse. We got to go see... Nick can go see the Bayside show, which was great. And they have really good merch, too. Yeah. Like, their poster was really cool. Yeah, we, we picked up it. a poster. We picked up, I got a shirt. Um, so, Brent, go make sure you do your shopping. Because it was good stuff. On the topic of Star Wars lights, really like what they did with the lightsaber meetup. Reminded me a lot of Star Cruiser. Good stuff. So, we can talk about Star, about Star Wars nights. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to get to eventually. Yeah. Uh, I'll come oh, back I'm to my salty about it. I, I feel so. Uh oh. I, I, I try to stay like, you know, I let you you get into it with Peter about the East versus West stuff. I try to stay out of it. Right. I, I, I just want everybody to be happy. But, but yet gets, while fully supporting your wife. Yeah, I, absolutely. <laughs> but but it gets it gets like tiring. That there's there's not all that love that goes to East. It's reached or not even like some of it. Like it it hurts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the seasons of the four stuff looked really cool, and that wasn't Star Wars night. So I I think that was cool, but it is it's still going it, yeah, on? Yeah, still going on through the beginning of June. 
Uh, there was a lot of excitement going around. Lots of excitement. They brought two Star Cruiser cocktails to Disneyland. <laughs> when there's like outside your back door, there's... Did they ship the glasses <laughs> from Star Cruiser to the other coast for this? Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. But also, I feel like as a East Coast Disney World fan supporter, I am beat down at this point. Anytime <laughs> news comes out, I just assume it is Disneyland and that Disney World's not getting it. Yeah. Like, how sad is that? Again, it's I'm defeating. I'm a real adult. It's, it's defeating. My expectations are real low. <laughs> Golly, Julie says yes. They shipped it because the box says Star Cruiser on it. See, my I like to maybe hope, it didn't get over. <laughs> I like to hope that that's the case. That like it came in through the They're port like, of hey, Los we're not Angeles. Holding this at our storage. <sighs> They're like, oh, okay, we'll get rid of it. Jeffrey says tempted to go just for the glasses. Didn't get them on my trips, but picked one up from Hyperspace Lounge. They're really oh, they're beautiful. different though, aren't they? Oh no, no. So they they say they're the hyperspace ones say hyperspace. But the uh, Star Cruiser ones say Star Cruiser, or they say CSL. Yeah. So yes, I would say if you want the different types. Yeah, I would say if you're gonna do it, or reach out to somebody in the community, and I'm sure they will pick them up for you. But they're really pretty to look at and to have on the shelves. I don't like drinking out of them that much. Oh, because just they're weird. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're weird. AP people are posting on Facebook. They're getting used glasses. In DO and they've been used and cleaned. I've heard that cleaned. too. We've had conversations about the fact that maybe they're not. Maybe they were used on Star Cruiser. Hopefully not. I mean, you drank out of used glasses anyway. Yeah, but you're not buying them. Yeah. Right? Like, if it's theirs, like, and you're, like, now you're paying for their kind of like their inventory it doesn't bother me why doesn't that bother me well i mean again it the the fact that i'm buying it doesn't bother me like if it, again like if you're thinking of an inventory yeah like here we, we have we're going out of business here's all these glasses people do it right they go yeah. like businesses do that they'll go buy the last business all their cups all their plates all their silverware so that's not weird. And so if you want it at your house, like, oh, yeah, I go to to the wholesale like To these restaurants, auctions yeah, or whatever, yeah. whatever. And I buy a whole thing of cups and plates. Like, Thinking it, of, like, those red, weird. like, crackly cups. Yeah, but the thing is, is, like, it's it's it feels deceiving because I'm, here's a, you buy my drink for whatever markup to buy this used one instead of, like, you going to cast connections and buying it for at the cheap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess. I mean, to me, it's like you're drinking out of a cup that somebody else drank out of anyway. Anytime you go have a drink somewhere. And like, I would hope that if you're getting a souvenir cup, you're going to wash it ahead of time. So maybe that's why it doesn't bother me. It's like, I know that I'm going to wash it anyway. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. Like you're under the impression that it's new in box and it's yeah. not. And that's, weird so i get it uh when you order it you drink the glass and they bring a sealed box with the glass in it but yeah but the people were saying that those were dirty yeah or used or you can see like if it went through like a dishwasher or something see, like it had water some of them, them that i saw and this is where i was like i don't know because the i'm i'm also thinking of this glass Whenever they the process of cutting it, because I'm assuming it's a bubble that they make and then they cut off the top, so right. they have to, you know, rinse it like in whatever to make sure there's no glass part, you know, particles right. that whatever that that the soap is thing, yeah, you know, whatever like the little it just like splashes water, it's just like the you know the residue. Uh, Don't you think they would wash it before that? Well, well, I mean, not, if, if, they're, I guess. if they're like, it's in a factory, here's like a bunch of bulbs, yeah, 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 it yeah, blows yeah. it, and then there's like four cups, four bulbs, they saw off all, like, you know, it's particles, Yeah, they're sawing it off, 
and then they just dunk it, wet it, and put it into into the because boxes. you assume that people are gonna wash their stuff first. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's what always bothered me, like when we get the um, the refillable mugs at Disney, because you're just like picking that mug off the shelf, and then they they activate it, and then you just go right to the the station and fill it up. And I'm just, <laughs> every time I'm like, I can rinse it as much as I. I feel comfortable with in the the little mug wash. They call it a mug wash station. It's a sink yeah. that's usually not hot. Like sometimes it's hot water, but there's no like soap or anything. And I'm always just like, I'm just <laughs> drinking chemicals all week. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, um, Cal was talking about the. You scrolling up? Yeah. What if those are heavier ones? Uh, are the heavier ones with thicker glass, maybe the one they serve you is slightly different. So I think they're definitely different because we. I remember from Star Cruiser, the ones you drink out of, they were they were a bit more smooth, like the, the lids. Yeah. So I don't know if it was just because they were used more or what, but I remember there was a difference. We them down yeah. with our collective saliva. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey's uh, no different than when a casino item goes on sale after Las Vegas property closes yeah see i mean in that but the thing was jeffrey on that one but you know you're getting you know you're getting a used used thing so you're not paying you're like i'm not paying full for it being used that's fair that's fair uh speaking of has anyone tasted the blue milk that released the store oh the what's <laughs> oh the, like regular the moo milk the true mill true moo uh somebody who was it was it nate i feel like it was nate yesterday took a screenshot of it from like you know we gotta groceries. find it over here and you went to three grocery stores today and we didn't, didn't even think it. to like look no i look oh and i went to the grocery store this morning too remember we went to the store so many times and didn't even think i didn't look but anyway <laughs> i'm pretty sure it was nape somebody yesterday like photoshopped a picture of it and turned it green <laughs> i was like hey check out this green milk betty bantha Julie says the moose far they don't give you the cylinder to keep, so I kept my used one. Maybe they're reusing those. They don't give you the cylinder, or they did. They don't. They didn't give you the the cylinder with the the lava extract. Like they would never give you that. Over you only at, in at Star Cruiser. Yeah. So you got to keep the one that they served you, but then it's not like you got another one. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um. Disney tries to get rid of their overstocked items that they don't move by labeling them as limited edition. <laughs> After that, it's clearance places. That's true. Yeah, just stick that label on it and it's gone. Reza's up in here, says Steven needs a kick scam. Can you hear? I mean, like, look at my uh, my Disney Crocs. <laughs> I'll get my Crocs out of the shot. Yeah, clean them Air Maxes, though. I don't know. These are the, the down and dirties. They are. Those are your your dailies. Do you want to talk? Is it too soon to talk about the military blue, the industrial uh, blues? No, I'm still hurt from it. <laughs> I've been. I was this year, so I've been on my shoe kick. Uh, now, is now it you a got, shoe kick? Now, now you've got me on this. Thanks, Reza. Um. So you know, I kind of like okay. Let me get into shoes. I, I'm reliving my my youth. Right. And I've been getting. Jordans. That's that's kind of the the cool shoes that I wanted. But like, what types of Jordans? Like, maybe just one in particular. Well, there's one in particular that that's been coming out this year. So, <laughs> the Jordan Four, <laughs> yes, particular. Uh, but the bread reimagined. This is like a black uh, Jordan Four. I love. Okay, red. but back up for people that don't know anything about Jordan Fours or the sneaker game because I'm very new to it. I, and I, don't so I'm ha learning I didn't put him like preload the pictures. So sorry, but just to, so you understand, I think it's very clever. So they all have different names for that specific shoe. It's right? a different colorway. It's a different colorway. Um, maybe different just material. Just like the different, different clones. Patterns. They have different names. Yes. But the breads reimagined. Black and B -R -E -D. reds. B-R-E-D. It's black and reds. Yeah. It's breads. I'm like, oh, it's fun. <laughs> Yes, Danny. Um, I so yeah, I'm gonna get there, Danny. <laughs> I got the breads on the shock drop because so they have like these shock drops, 
you know, they're shocking drop. when it, the so shoe they, they drops. Limit it a num- uh, they have a limited number at certain points. And again, it's, it's fun. Like they, they know how to market. Like it's fun because you're like, Oh, can I get it on the shock drop day? Yeah. So I was able to get them. So I'm like, I'm rocking my shoes and everybody's still waiting for them to get the release date. And you're walking like this. So you don't crease them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, wa- I've been my, I, I walk regular. Um, so I'm excited. I get those. I have my other, my white and my red concrete. So they're like white with red. Mm-hmm. So I have like this, you know, nice little collection going. Right. And then of recent, they had the sulfur, vivid sulfur uh, one. So they're like yellow, white and yellow. So I'm like, I'm getting all these colorways. Yeah. Of the Jordan 4. <laughs> yes. The exact same shoe. They look great, though. I, they I'm able do to... look great. You look really good in them. Thank like, you. they're Thank wonderful. You. Um but yeah, the recently they had the the military blues come out, which they renamed to industrial blues. Yeah, and you're like, oh, well, I'll have a red pair, I'll have a yellow pair, and then I'll have oh, the blue primary pair. colors. There you go, you're covered. So, uh, but I didn't get the shock drop. So, womp womp. I was a little bummed. I was bummed for a day or two. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you okay there? You you good? That man? that lucky lucky uh, streak ran out i guess and so that's okay uh, but then they'll release but again. you know what maybe it was for good because i was seeing a lot of people having like a little overspill on glue like they like the the qc oh, they were on it, was, it yeah so i don't know so hopefully they got mm. all those out and they are they're, they're getting all the good ones um uh, but yeah danny i'm i'm watching but i'm also watching for uh the uh what the Jumpman jacks the Travis Scotts that are coming or they're supposed to drop. Those are cool. Or, or uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of like going kind of nuts. So with shoes right now, okay. I have to like stay away from looking. But yeah, I'm constantly just opening up my the helmets app and then the oh shoes. App. Gosh. You're silly. You're very <laughs> silly. Reza says that he supports your your healthy Thank habits. You, Thank you. We even have like little shoe trees that go in each of our mm-hmm. sneakers. So May 4th is the release date for the military blues. Yeah. I'm a size nine, Danny. You gonna Ten buy and a half him and some women's. military blues, please? <laughs> <laughs> but no, but again, it's like a, it's a fun like I have, you know, an old high school buddy now. Like he he does the shoe thing too, so we're constantly like keeping each other updated. So it's again, I'm, I'm able to reconnect with, you know, old friends. Yeah. And, uh, we're just lamenting about us not, you know, getting the shoe we want. Yeah. So it's fun. It's fun. I, th- I, I think that's the part that it is like, it's not the, it, it is the shoe. Like, you know, you're kind of like afterwards, you're like, oh, here's the prize. But it's fun talking about, you know, shoes and, and just like the different, different aspects of it and stuff like that. So it's just, again, another, another obsession, but you know, getting to have those, those fun conversations. It's been fun watching you. Like I'm on the outside. I don't really get oh, it, but like you're taking me along on it. Oh no. He hit on him. He hit it. He got him, but he doesn't want him. Why would you do that then? To resell him. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Occasionally, Danny, I go, I go check like the goat and stock eggs. But I'm I'm almost like I try not to almost. Okay, I give, well, I'm gonna say almost because I still do. But well, I don't know because you bought me some Jordans, and they were pretty much we or. But the thing was, is we ordered them from a retailer from a big box store, and they were used. Yeah, they're cute though. I yeah. like them. I'm very happy with my shoes. My one pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the thing is, is like. We don't have the same style or same, like, no. we don't like the same type of shoes. No. So the ones that you pick, I'm like, wow. They were chrome ones. Listen, guys. They were Jordan yeah, ones. put it on her. They were Jordan ones. They had a white sole, and then all of the rest of them were, like, they almost looked chrome. What? <laughs> no. No. Like if Mando wore Jays. Oh. Now you're into <laughs> it. No, no, no. No, no, because 
because you had a like a, a pretty good idea. Because like, oh, are you gonna talk about it? It's a great idea. It is, and those shoes would have been great to do that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Phasma Jays. There you go. Russ is with me. <laughs> So I love those shoes so much. So the like, thing we were saying, Reza, and Sarah was like, what are you going to do with those shoes? I was like, I don't know. I can model them. And then we were talking about helmets. <laughs> I don't know. I could model <laughs> We were talking about that. She's like, well, what about the helmets? I was like, I don't know. I can model them. Well, no, because or, you had just gotten the yellow pair and I had seen somebody post and I don't even know what that helmet is. What is the helmet? What is the trooper? Hold on. I'm going to like, I'm going to run. So here. Sarah, you could talk. You're going to go on a run right now? You ran? Where? Oh, you're like leaving, leaving. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. He's so excited to show off his shoes. <laughs> anyway, what happened was I was... Oh, here, I'll look, I'll look right at you. What happened was I... He has a helmet that matches the shoes. And I was like, you know what would be dope is if you styled outfits to go with the helmet and the shoes and that way you incorporate both of your your passions and your hobbies together and so he's like oh that's a good idea because he has the yellow ones and they go he's got the red ones that could go he's got the black ones we were hoping with rex he could get the military blues oh my god here we go we're getting shoes out he's back you ran you're not even out of breath. It's impressive. How are you going to get that one? Which one? That one. I think something like... Here, you want me to hold things for you? You want me to hold that one? Yeah, that one. Here. You can tell we put a lot of thought into... It is but this wasn't Friday. Was, was Friday show and tell at your school? Uh, I don't think we had a lot of show and tell. Is it a thing anymore? I don't think so. Because they had it like for our son when he was going through school, but then COVID happened. So imagine these with something like this. It's like exactly the same color, though. Look at that. So if you put together an outfit, but you could do like a just straight up like a, a bound yeah. of a trooper. So like then I was thinking get the, some, like the military blues white with pants? the Rex. Get some white jeans. You would look so good in white jeans. And then ever saying do it. You know, we could do do a little uh put these together. That looks good. The Luke and Oh, you know what? Your Poe helmet I think would look good with your breads. I think those two. But see, I think I think this could go with like a lot of the dark side stuff it could I the straight red one but i, I thought you weren't supposed to wear white jeans after 1983 <laughs> <laughs> no he wouldn't wear those in the parks he, he's not gonna wear his his nice jordan fours in the park <laughs> that's what his air maxes are for <laughs> um uh, yeah so i was like oh you know what? that'd be like a cool idea of so then i un yeah i unintentionally gave you like a really yeah it's a great idea, yeah. but it's an expensive idea. You're going to be like, well, now I need shoes to go with Ahsoka. <laughs> so Give like, me the chrome I shoes and I'll do the Mando one. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, but if I have to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mine are like. Thank the you, everybody, for encouraging me to get more shoes. <laughs> no, nobody is encouraging you. <laughs> You're like, what'd you say? You want me to buy Ooh, more shoes? You got Jay it. He says, would you do one one red and one yellow for the Luke one? See, uh, no, it, it's just, I, I think I would go. More shoes. I was like, yeah, I would be like more shoes. I was like, oh, no, I'd rather just like go find this particular one that I want. Yeah. So. Uh, it's cool. You've been having a lot of fun with it and it's been fun to watch. And it's also nice because like it's not Star Wars related or Disney related, so it's like oh we can, we can have other interests again. <laughs> like this is nice. Okay, Imelda Marcos. <laughs> you do have more current shoes in your rotation, but like don't just don't look at my docs, any of my Doc Martens, because I have 
Yeah. A lot of those. A lot of those. Chad Brown says, I only have one pair of shoes. I don't even understand. I don't think that's possible. Like real shoes and then you have like flip flops. Because that's the thing. It's like you have you to have, have, have like house shoes. Like a flip flop or a croc or something. Well, I mean, even like I think a dress shoe and a sneaker. Because even if you're like a barefoot type of person, I think a dress shoe and a sneaker. So. If you are a barefoot type of person, I apologize, but I am not a barefoot type of person. You can do this for comment. I may do that. That's so a good the idea. thing is, like, I have to be, I have to go. It's not more so than a bound, but less than a cause, like a full costume. <laughs> Stop! Sm- don't <laughs> smaller than a large, <laughs> larger than a small. We have we have to explain the story now. We have a. Our, our cousin who <laughs> when we were young and we would party a lot we would get drunk and we would watch tv and there was a, a commercial for the long island medium and she was like i she had passed out i think and she like woke up and she's like smaller than a lodge larger than a small <laughs> we we're like <laughs> where did this come from <laughs> and it was what a decade or more ago we still quote it Later, Reza. Later, Reza. Go buy more shoes. You run in to buy more shoes. See, look, Chad, we do bare feet in Australia. Clay, same. Like, I get it. I, I think that's, but again, I think at least a sneaker and a dress shoe. A dress shoe. Fair. Like that, I understand. That would, be, like, that would be the two that most people would have. I understand that people. Because it's like funerals and then everything else. Or nice, like a wedding. <laughs> But again, it could be it a could barefoot, be wedding. Wedding, barefoot wedding. It, it could, could be a barefoot wedding. I am a weirdo. I do not like to and be in barefoot. Some, some places like, like it's just boots. So there's like dirty boots and clean boots. Yeah, like some people. Well, some people don't wear shoes in the house, or they have like inside no, shoes no. and outside shoes. Well, I'm just shoes. saying, like you get boots. Oh, so it's oh like you have like your night, your dress boots, your dress boots for like the nice stuff, and then the old ones are just like your work boots, your work boots, and then when those new ones get old. Just get new dress boots. So, hmm. Hmm. I uh, yeah. Believe me, I I I was very simple in my shoe my shoes before. I had my work shoes and my home shoes. Your home so. shoes. Julie saying buy more shoes over on Instagram Same. too. Look at you. Look what you've created. You waited for this moment. I was so excited. <laughs> you were so excited. I, um, you're getting, still getting, so look at you getting to show off my shoes i'm very so. happy for you they look good yeah so and yet you went with the air maxes <laughs> for the I think these are just like that's what you wore all day just like the throw down shoes man my disney crocs are my throw. i wanted to buy those star wars crocs the we call the, them cronks in our house i think the hardest part right now is there's as far as style mm-hmm crocs are a thing i know does it kill you it kind of does i know because i i I still on that train of i refuse to do crocs but it but but style is the croc when was the last time your foot was inside of a croc uh probably a day ago yeah (laughs) and yet you refuse to do to rock a croc yeah because they're not my Crocs. Yeah, you wear my Crocs and like your heels hanging off the back of them. Your toes it's because are, I have to like. His toes have, are coming out the holes in the front. It's because I ha- like. It, they're yeah, comfortable. It doesn't count because that's like the same thing as like you wearing. Like your, your mom's, mom's shoes. Yeah. Like your slippers. I know you didn't want to say it, but it's like wearing your mom's slippers around the house. <laughs> they're, I don't wear my Crocs outside of the house. Like it's just. I I appreciate them for how comfortable they are because I'm I stand up all day like I stand at my desk I walk around I personally just like don't want to wear them outside of the house there's a tiny bit of shame <laughs> but I also like don't shame anybody that likes to wear a croc because they are so comfortable I mean there's some really and cool I get ones it. like that I've like again now that they're it's the style I'm like oh man like those are kind of cool the the but sandals I, to... I wear on the cruise those are crocs and they're comfortable and I can well, wear it's, them it's like, not the, the brand time. it's just that. That style, like it's the, this. I, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, like that. Uh, but these just, are Mickey heads. They're Mickey, hidden Mickeys on here. It's cuter. Anyway. See, Chad refuses to croc, too. We've got Team Croc. Too bad we don't know how to do. Cal, I saw 
Croc cowboy boots. They have like the spurs you can add. So if you put it in sports mode and then you can do the little spur on the back of it. Yeah. I've seen other <laughs> things too. I know I have too. <laughs> And Jeffrey, Jeff. watch me not care about what people think about me wearing Crocs. I, I truly don't care when other people wear Crocs. It's just like me personally. I don't. I won't wear them outside the I, house unless I'm going to like the gas station or something. Yeah. But these are also like the other thing is like my Crocs are my inch side shoes. So I don't want to wear them like outside and then wear them. We're not weird about that in our house, really. But like these are just like my these are my safe like my slippers. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> Sports mode. I never do sports mode though. See, Ever. Naomi. <sighs> but it's not an, not a thing on the mainland. Justin shoes are all worn through the house. Oh, she said in, it's oh. custom in Hawaii to remove shoes before entering a home. I think that's kind of like a an Asian thing too, right? It's yeah. like you don't wear your outside shoes in the house. Yeah. So four wheel drive mode. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one in the house so far that doesn't have. Crocs. Have Crocs yet? <laughs> I honestly, I I feel like it's just one of those times that it's gonna like I'm gonna blow a flat at Disney or something and have to get it. It's honestly what I'm waiting for. <laughs> like it's gonna be flooded, and so either I'm gonna be walk like, and that's the thing too is I don't know if I would be able to walk barefoot at Disney. No. And so I'd be like, all right, let me get some shoes, and it's gonna be a Croc. It's incredibly rude to leave your shoes on in the house in Hawaii. Thanks, Chad. I'm going to I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to find something. I mean, you've held firm for years. Yeah. It's been, I think I've been wearing Crocs for like maybe 2 years now and you've held firm. Jeffrey says I'll I don't the, think I'd wear I'll Crocs. I'll get those like parts. little uh waterproof uh boots that you just like slip your shoes. Dude, in. I really do want to buy those though so we can like throw them in the bottom of the stroller. Because I don't like, I don't like wearing a poncho. Because it's just like it feels like all of your you're already hot walking around the theme park, and it's just like yeah, you're steaming yourself. I, I, I would rather do the umbrella. It's like Saran wrap, <laughs> <laughs> and you can never get it on by the time the rain stops. Yeah, so I'd rather just have an umbrella that's enough, and then like the little like basically. It's like a glove for your foot that you zip up. It's almost like a rain boot, but it's just like a thin rain boot. Yeah. Right? Like, that's what I would like. Just like a whole... Ideally. But at the same time, it's like, here's the thing when it comes with, like, oh, Kanye West girlfriend. I don't think she was barefoot. I think the shoes just looked like she was barefoot. So, New Hope. Jason says, uh, exactly how I ended up in my current house Crocs. I got the purple Disney 100s. Only ones available. See, so the same thing. Just <laughs> I gotta watch the weather whenever we go. So here, so do you want to end up with purple Disney 100 Crocs, or would you like to pick and have like well, that's the what cute I'm saying. Star like, Wars ones that just came out that I, look like stormtroopers? I'm gonna plan it so perfectly that I'll have like an extra pair with me. I'll be like, oh, what is this? Some another I, pair I'll of the, Jordan have those fours. Easy, uh, Socks <laughs> <laughs> with the sole and the two pads. Uh, Jeffrey says, I usually do umbrellas, but I had an emergency poncho with me at the Halloween party and needed it. I was not gonna let the rain stop me. We have we carry ponchos, yeah. well, we have like a I think it's like you, the you have to carry a poncho just because, like, it's if small it gets enough. that bad, yeah. But we do, we have like a rain bag, so if we know that it's gonna rain or like if we are prepared enough <laughs> to check the weather, we'll have a bag that has a stroller cover and then it has ponchos for each of us. And then usually like one or two umbrellas in there and we'll shove it in the bottom of the stroller. Um, but we, we're usually. Uh, yeah. I, I, well, but the other thing okay. too, like when it does start, start to rain, like it's usually midday. If it's rainy, like raining hard, 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 then it's like, okay, like it's chalked. We're like, we'll go back to the, the resort or whatever. Yeah. But if it's like one of those, like it's sprinkling type of thing, you're like, eh, just wait it out, wait it out. But typically it's midday go, rain. Go shop and for a little bit. We're usually back at the resort anyway. And so we wait until the rain's over. And we're like, all right, let's go back out. Yeah. I wear Crocs with my Andor Narkina 5 prison outfit. I wore, I wore Crocs 
I wore my white Crocs yeah. when we did that oh, on yeah, Star yeah, Cruiser. That. And then, but when we did it for Wa- Mosh, we had white vans. Yeah. But yeah, we call them Cronks in our house because we are Mexican. And so like flip flops or chanclas or sandals or chanclas. And so for a while we were calling Crocs Cronklas and then it just shortened to Cronks. So we're like, hey, go get your Cronks on. <laughs> And I think that's what our kids think it really is called. Now. It's like the new chancla. The, the new chancla, the cronkla. <laughs> <laughs> we do not throw them at, at our kids, though. It's the, the one sure difference. Sure, you here. don't, Sarah. Mm. <laughs> you see that precision? <laughs> those one, those videos. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're scary, man. Yeah. Yeezy pods. Is that what they were called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, Dan, Danny knows the shoes. Man, for real. Um, so okay, so here's one of the other things that happened. So I went to to Orlando for my my conference this week. This conference is actually like it's pretty dope in that they don't make you sit in a conference like center for eight hours a day. It's usually like half a day, and then you go do like a dinner or half a day, and then like one day we went to Islands of Adventure at Universal, and it was so interesting (laughs) the the (laughs) spanglish um it was the park closed at seven (laughs) and we had so this this was the convert like okay so we'll we'll start kind of talking about it now kind of pre pre talking about it because i think this is something that we wanted to talk about and wanted to figure out but the park closes so early Right. And compared, what I, and compared to Disney. What I heard from somebody who worked there, Islands of Adventure closed at 7 p.m. And we had special tickets through the convention that, like, you could not enter the park until after 2 p.m. So we essentially had five hours in the park. 7 p.m. It, it, and it's crazy because uh, Disney, depending on which park you're going to. It could be, like, 11 o'clock. Yeah. And, you know, that's... Not including whatever after hours type of thing. And they don't have like nighttime spectaculars or fireworks or anything like that. Like it was day and when I was walking out of the park still. The, I think the the sentiment that we were you were getting was they closed because it's the It's a slower season. It's a slower season. Yeah. Which if you're having a slow season, like what when is the busy season if you're not like constantly able to be open at these hours? Right. Like what is, and that that's what we really want to dig into. And we, we may end up doing an episode about it is like, what is the driving factor for closing early? And what are the alternatives? Yeah. Because typically what you, you, would, you would say your hours of operation are because you're going to have, like if you could open later, you know that people are going to be like, you're going to be packed from, nine o'clock to not you know nine to nine yeah so you're gonna have max almost max capacity right now if you go a little bleed a little bit over yeah people are gonna be leaving or if you open too early there's not gonna be enough people i think disney does or, you know a lot of the parks don't have that issue because everybody likes to rope drop but like it, people putter off towards the end right but i think disney has consistently been able to keep their parks full throughout the entire day if Universal is having to close early because people either leave or like if that's the case, I, I don't. Why are I you don't not know. doing things to keep people in the parks yeah. and spending money? And like, yes, you have City Walk right there across the way. So 7 p.m. But that's not Universal. That that's those are all these other businesses. Well, I'm sure Universal gets a cut. But yeah, you could get more. Rob and Jeffrey say availability of staff. They likely can't staff a full second or third shift. See, and that's what I was thinking too. Is like they, it probably if they opened, if they stayed open later, they would have to have an like they're probably able to cut like almost an entire shift by having the hours the way that they are. But then why are you not enticing people to be in the parks longer? Yeah, like are your margins? But, but, but that's that the, that's the thing, Rob. Close. Is like so if you're you're going based off of staffing, so you're having. You're, you say Disney has four shifts. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm. This is a yeah, hypothetical. Have no they idea. have four shifts. There's the overnight, 
there's the early morning. So it's before rope drop through rope drop till mid afternoon. Second shift is from mid afternoon to two or, or three. Probably mid morning, mid morning, right? mid afternoon, and then night or five maybe to night to overnight type yeah. of thing. Like they have a lot of overlap between these shifts. But if Universal's cutting an entire shift, then you're like if that's not necessary, like that that just means you're not needing that. Right. You know what I mean? Like it it yeah, it it makes no sense to me. Like I feel like you're leaving money on the table. Yeah. I, it's I, universal. Like universal just in general, I feel like the vibe of Universal is just like it's looser. People go to like drink and hang out, and like it's a little more like grown up. Like it's more grown ups there, so you would it, expect it, them to want to be out there maybe later. Having more time there, it doesn't give you more. more well, so opportunities let me let me walk you through my five hours that I had because we entered the park at exactly two p.m. We were waiting outside the gate at one fifty-five, <laughs> like waiting to be let in. It, it, okay, yeah, wrong. But the so we go in. It's two p.m. I'm gonna walk you through my day really quickly because there wasn't there wasn't too much to it. We go in. We go to Hulk, and we did not have express passes, so we had to wait in standby line for everything. Um, Hulk was like ten minutes, and I'm with a massive. And here's the other downfall: was like I was with a massive group of people, so I'm like, this is how I do Disney. I know how this goes. We're not riding any rides. And I'm fine with that. Like, I go to the theme parks enough. I'm okay to not ride rides. But I know that there's people here that do want to ride rides. So they go, they do the Incredible Hulk. I was like, I'm going to keep my food down today. I'm good. Because that thing, like, (laughs) it whips you around. And, like, you're halfway through the ride and you're just like, is this going to be over yet? Like, this is, I can't flip another time. And then you flip. (laughs) And then it, like, stops, like, really abruptly. Anyway, so everybody was like, yeah, 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 roller coasters. And they were so excited. And I was like, I'm going to sit this one out. And I sat out with like one or two other people. And then they came off the ride and they're like, I probably should have sat that one out. I'm like, I'm like, if you're, you're coming to the parks with like a theme park expert and she's sitting this ride out, <laughs> like you might want to <laughs> learn, like do what I do. <laughs> but they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll follow your lead going forward. So then. You're walking back in there. You've got your Marvel Superhero Island. It's not Adventures Campus. It's Marvel Superhero Island. But you've got Spider-Man. You're passing rides with, like, low wait times, like 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then you've got Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, which are the two best rides and the two with the longest wait time. They would vacillate between, like, 45 minutes and 75 minutes of a wait for the whole time that we were there. So it was like the move is you go do one of them. Either one. You can go walk all the way back and do Hagrid's and then basically work your way back up to the front of the park. Or you can do Velocicoaster, go do Hagrid's, and then same thing. You have to pass by them either way. We decided to go do Velocicoaster. We're in the line. One of the trains keeps breaking down. Maybe people threw up on it. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but they kept, like, pulling trains off the track. Um, And so it was running slower. And so we left. By that point, the Sunfields were there, and so I was like, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. Bye. And I left <laughs> my work group, but I had already told them my my strategy, and so they basically were in line either right before us or right behind us for, like, all the two rides that we did. So we do Hagrid's, and uh, because I was with the Sunfields, we broke off. We went and did, like, the Ollivander's wand keeping. We stopped and got drinks, but that was really it. Like, you don't have that much time because the the lines are longer so from two to to seven i did my group did hulk so you can count that one as one if you want hagrid's and velocicoaster and by the time we got a velocicoaster the but what else was is there to do closed. there's kong okay the skull island one there's the spider-man ride which is a 40 ride there's I'm trying to think what else there is. There's just not that much to do I, yeah, at Universe, I, I think that's, at that's Islands of Adventure. What I'm trying to get at is like I never feel like I could get a full day out of Universal. No. Like, yes, you're waiting, but you're waiting for three rides. Yeah. Like, you're waiting all that time for three rides. Like, yes, Velocicoaster is a really good, like, the, uh, how, a testament of how good it is is I was so... <laughs> 
PO'd that we waited we waited in the single rider line. Yes. And it took longer to ride in a single rider line than it was to just ride the in that regular like the kid on the at the front was on a power trip and was like, I'm gonna send everybody that's grouped before these single riders. Yeah. So I was so upset because I was like, <laughs> this is like ridiculous. But after riding the ride, I was like, all right, it's cool. It's good. But it was still not worth that wait. It yeah, it uh, was it's a long wait. But Rob, so Rob said it'll tell what the tell will be if Epic Universe has longer hours. I think at the beginning it's gonna have longer hours. Like that place is gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. I wonder if Epic will have a like a fireworks or anything. Or something at night to keep people there. So Jeffrey says Animal Kingdom closes early because they don't have those things. Well, and, and but I think the thing is, is Animal Kingdom closes it also too for the animals. So yeah, they, they like don't have fireworks show, so it's like there's no, there's nothing to keep them there late. Um, and but they, I mean, they but, can't have like fireworks and loud noises with all the animals around. And then because so much of the park is like trails and stuff, they don't have them lit. Yeah, like it's very nature. It's driven. very like nature and like animal friendly like they are good to their animals there and so they don't want you like gawking at the gorillas at midnight and so like they they kick everybody out by then but that's okay because the other parks stay open late Therese especially because Islands has more in demand rights yeah I, I mean yeah why wouldn't you keep it open longer oh man you like scrolled yeah, a lot Galen Hulk. Rob says Hulk Coaster will make the youngest adult acting adults feel retirement home ready. <laughs> That's how I felt. I was like, you know, the funny I think thing I'm is, I'm done with this. When ride. people would say on writing Matterhorn, where like it busts up your back, yeah, that hadn't happened. No, I, like yeah, you know, I think we got a pretty good tip at the very beginning, right? And so I didn't like it didn't bust up our back. I feel Hulk like rattles my brain, and there's like nothing you could do. Like it feels like it just. Because it, the, you're locked in so tight and, like, the things right here, like, you don't have any, like, there is no, uh, what's it called? So, Teresa's Room. Hagrid's, all right, we're going to take Teresa's tip. Hagrid's right before it closes is the move. That is so good. Now move. it's going to be ruined, Teresa, for you sharing that. <laughs> you know what, though? Hagrid's was rough for me. Like, in terms of, like, a rough versus a smooth coaster, Hagrid's was pretty rough this time. And it was... Um, because we, I was with the Sunfields. Therese says single rider takes longer. Single rider takes longer. I don't care. Every single time I, no, we have done a single rider. Like, at Disney, a single rider. No. Is, Remember that one time that you and your sisters did a uh, rock and roller coaster? And y'all did single rider. But no, but the forever. thing. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. I think the thing is, is that universal people go in pairs it's not really families it's like mm. couples Ooh, that's interesting and at disney it's a family so it's there's yes there's mostly a three or four you know even pairs but sometimes it's uneven and also too the brides are not always two two two, two whereas like a lot threes, of yeah hulk is it's it, they're even numbers yeah no that's fair uh Sylvia to do Hagrid's and Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster is just like my absolute favorite roller coaster of all time. It is so good. It is good. Oh, it's so good. Justin and uh, <laughs> Justin, is that why uh, Hagrid's was rough? So we, I got to do Hagrid's twice back to back because Jack didn't want to ride it. And so we did like a rider swap, which that's the, the way they do rider swap is very interesting at Universal. But anyway, Naomi sat with Jack and Justin and I rode it the first time. But here was why I think it was rough is I was on the, the bike and Justin was in the sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't planned. It was just I was in front of him in the line and like the first person goes and gets on the bike. But you're higher up from the track. And I think that was why it like messed with me so much. But then the second time I was like, Naomi, I already did the bike. Like I'll do the sidecar. And I wasn't thinking like that's why I got so nauseous. So she did it. And she was OK. But like I had just done it before then so i like walked off the ride like i just i want to sit down and eat a carb please <laughs> uh 
Jeffrey, good thoughts about the family list people at Universal Impact and Single Rider. See, like, Jeffrey's waiting in line. Like, Jeffrey, sometimes you just got to go through the, the normal line. The regular line. You'll get screwed. Yeah, on Velocicoaster, it's only when they need it. And the, the, the queue for the Single Rider on Velocicoaster is so short in comparison to the rest of the queue. And the fact that, like, we probably waited twice as long. I know long. we waited because, like, I would see I people, like, were watching people. I saw the end of the line when we could have got in, saw these, those people go, and then new people keep coming, you know. <gasps> so I know. aggravating. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was, like, the, I was so upset. You were so mad, and I'm and, just sitting oh, Dana there, like, was there oh, and my he God, was just oh, my like, God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then, yeah, Dana was there, so I was like, we can't, like, fully be, like, like crabby at each other. Like, it's not my fault. <laughs> like... It's not my fault you're mad, and it's not like you should be mad. But I'm like, but I f somehow feel responsible <laughs> that you're upset. And then Dan was just like, la la la. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, like you were dad mode. I was. It was. <laughs> I was. I was. We can annoyed. laugh about it now, but I'm like, because I kept like trying to to like calm you too and i'm like i promise you like the ride is worth it like it's so good like you're really gonna love it and then i'm in my head i'm like oh no 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 what if he doesn't like it what if it's not as good as i remember <laughs> jeffrey i have to do more search uh more research as i'm going to see oh cedar point and, and king's uh, island yeah cedar point's supposed to have like uh, there's i think there's a ride over there i remember looking at like it's uh, what was like it? a very unique ride yeah uh, let's see. I thought I saw something on a vlog that there's such a thing as a dual rider in the single rider line, but I think it's only smugglers run since it holds six. So, I mean, you can go in like, like we did single rider Yumi and, and Dano and like we got split up. Like sometimes they will seat you together. I feel like that happened. Well, I'm trying to think of like, uh, I don't it happened, remember one time we went to on Mario. Rock and roller coaster. Oh yeah. When we did, um, no, no, no. We got separated. We all got separated, but we pretty much like all went on the same, on the same train. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Captain Nader's here in uh, over on Instagram. What's up? I've been crushing it with like he's been doing like uh, black chrysanthemum like mask giveaways. Yeah, that's cool. I so badly want to be chewy one day. <laughs> a really small <sighs> chewy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a little, a Maybe little baby. Maybe do like one with your the, with the white hair. Yeah. Oh, that like would be cool. Lumpy. Monkey Man, like a bleached Chewy. <laughs> we saw Monkey Man. Oh yeah. Oh, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't even talk about that. Yeah, again, it was our our coffee. Well, yeah, we did. Yes. So if, I'll, I'll do a little little Side plug. Track. Little plug. Like if you join our Patreons, we have uh we've we do like a, a monthly uh coffee, you know, in the morning. We do yeah. So we do two. So little hangouts, little hangouts. It's not a live stream. It's just like a like a. It's on Discord. It's just a Discord call. Yeah. And so we get on video and we hang out with whoever is available to hang out. Um. So we'll do like once a month. It's a coffee, like a mid morning coffee, and then once a month it's a cocktail, yeah. like a little cantina hour. Yeah. It's fun. So we can hang out. And then we we can actually look at you. You're not necessarily looking at us. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we did go see Monkey Man uh last week and oh my god what a good, a good movie, movie that was i i think it was it's it, it's it's such a great movie first like again I, it's one of those like dev patel like doing it like he wrote it directed it like started doing it, every, like, like everything doing everything uh so it's just like oh man like he's so cool he is and so then, cool <laughs> and but after the movie because it's like an action movie right yeah. And uh, when you come out of the movie, like at an action movie, and you're like, like you feel like a little kid. You're like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start fighting. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I'm a, I mean, I'm going to be like super cool like that guy. Like, you know, that feeling. Like, it's a good Is movie. that why you kick the trash can over? Yeah. And yell parkour? Like, uh -uh. <laughs> uh, but no, it's like it, it makes you feel that way. So, like, just that feeling is just kind of, I think, a good sign of, you know. Of a good movie. Of a good movie. We or like when you watch like a, a good superhero movie, you're like, oh man, I wish like I was that superhero. Yeah. So, it, it, just that that feeling, it to me, it was kind of like 
This is a good movie. So we knew nothing about the movie going into it. We saw a preview for it because we had seen, we went to go see Dune 2. And we're like, what is this trailer? This looks amazing. It looks like John Wick. It looks like just a straight up action movie. There's some Bollywood to it. Like it look, and there's Dev Patel. And we're like, this is going to be great. And so we went into it pretty much blind, which I think was great too, because then you don't have expectations of what it's going to be. Um, we were excited to see it, but the, it just, it didn't feel like a normal movie. Like it didn't follow like typical conventions. The cinematography was really cool. Like the way they did a lot of the symbolism and everything was just like, it was such a beautiful movie. Yeah. Go check it out. It was, yeah. Go check it out. And, like, and the, the like afterwards kind of learning about it, like I was like, how come I haven't heard about it or whatever? So he started doing the movie. Yeah. And he didn't have any like uh any distributors or like whatever the like a producer or a, like a studio. Yeah, a studio behind it. So he was doing it. And it was right right up until like a certain point where it was kind of like okay, it's going to get made or it's not going to get made. And he showed it to uh Jordan Peele in the Monkey Paul Productions. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, I love this. And he goes, but I'm going to go show it to Universal. And that's kind of like how it just like spread from there. And then they showed it at South by Southwest and won the award over there. And oh, did it win yeah. awards? So it, it was just kind of like this like indie film oh, that's type cool. of thing. So it was like, you know, was super good. cool. It was really good. <laughs> they're asking why our lights are swinging. Because <laughs> They are just, moving like a lot right now. They're just naturally hanging there. Yeah. Well, there's an air vent. Yeah. Right above it. So the air is just like hitting it. And just little earthquakes. <laughs> We're on a boat. We're on a boat. We're on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish. Imagine being able to just like set up a podcast wherever. You imagine lugging all of that luggage? I want to have it like in a nice little like pelican. I'm going to do it eventually. Probably sooner than later, just so you know. Yeah, I know because you were talking about it earlier today. <laughs> that's why I'm like, that's why I'm not saying anything because I'm like, okay, well, those Amazon packages start showing up. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? So we've got we talked about season of the forest a little bit and our our gripes with it. Uh, we talked about our last episode. We talked about my trip to to Universal, which we. Also in our Patreon, well, it, even if you don't want to like, pay, like pay for Patreon, we have a free tier, and with the free tier, you get Discord access. Yeah, and you get Discord access to pretty much every channel um, on our Discord, and we talk about things like Butterbeer and the parks, and you just started like an escape game channel. We didn't even talk about the escape game. Oh my god! Yeah. But we talk about all these different things. Um, if there's news that comes out, we'll usually talk about it there first before I post about it on Instagram yeah, or anything like, like that. It's just like, it's just fun stuff. Um, just feels like a way to just connect a little more with with the community. Um, but one of the things I posted in there, which Sunfield is the one that, that showed this, was the, the uh, cinnamon whiskey in the butterbeer. Because we had this big debate a few weeks ago about butterbeer. Because I uh, remember when I went. Oh, that a frozen or not. Like frozen or cold or hot or whatever. Um, when we went a couple of weeks ago, I got a butter beer for each of our children. Like a good mom just hopping them up on sugar. And I'm like, here, children, enjoy this butter beer. And they are both like, no thanks. And I, I think like, oh. they they have my taste buds. Like I know our son does. He's not big on sweets. Uh, yeah, because I'm not big on sweets. And so he's, he's just kind of like, like. She is, though. But like. Butterbeer is just like not it. But if you put cinnamon whiskey <laughs> in butterbeer. That's what we need to get them. If you put in it. Yeah. Scott not says to frozen. The kids. <laughs> I'll be like, no, no, no. You don't like butterbeer, remember? <laughs> Your little whiskey. It was good. Go to bed. It was delicious. Jeffrey says need lightsaber hilts is dangling light fixtures. So I have. Oh, my God. I have some lightsabers back here just in case an how intruder. Many, wait, how many? Uh, I've got like three lightsabers back there. Just in case, you know. Just in case. I have no weapons near me. Oh, look. A separatist oh, drops look. in. Did you even notice this? I'm matching yeah. my pillow. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. 
<laughs> I got queso on the nice shirt I was wearing all day today. <laughs> I had to go put on a t-shirt. <laughs> um, we so we are. I mean, we're at time. Do yeah. You, do you want to talk about what we? Hey, we can leave it for next time. Okay. Well, we'll leave but it go, for next time. Go, go check out your local escape rooms, because uh, we had a fantastic time. Uh, it's it was so much fun. We had a great day today. Yeah. It was a really so, fun day. I, I think it just like set the 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 pace for the day. Cause it did. You, when you win a, an escape room, it's just when you book a nine thirty a.m. escape room. <laughs> The first one. Just the two of you. I know we had to wait for them to open the doors. <laughs> Oops. There was one earlier. I didn't take the earliest one, yeah. to be fair. But, oh, man, you can never have enough lightsabers. And that's the truth. We're not getting on lightsabers now. We've, we've got helmets and shoes. Droids Ooh, have slowed Rebel down Moon. a bit. AP, I think I need to check that out because it looks pretty cool. What I, is that? I just, uh, I'm, I think it's Zack Snyder's space type of show. Like he says, it's better than Star Wars. But oh, okay, now this I rings think, a bell. Yeah. Jeffrey says I've only done one escape room, and that was on a cruise ship. I don't know anybody else interested in them. Did you do one on Royal Caribbean? Because they didn't have the escape room open. On the icon. Dang, Chad has all the Disney sabers. Whoo! See, you're like, like you're like the helmets. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Speaking of the helmets, it, we we got to keep an eye out on this because, so the other day they dropped the Shock Trooper one, but they also, which I'm I'm kind of like hesitant, but there's a Trooper helmet that was posted to like Disney UK, like Disney Store UK, that was one of the other clones. That wasn't Rex, wasn't like, but it. Oh, I don't like think it it's gonna. But I don't think it's gonna be a Hasbro one. I think it's like the, the, um, the trooper over at Disney. Like it's like the Disney helmets. Oh. So I don't think it's gonna be as decent quality as the Hasbro ones. But I don't know. Like, so I, I I'm I'm trying to keep an eye on that. So if you guys see something on it, okay. Um, let me know. Okay. <laughs> More again it's just like another like, like oh, I've never seen helmets that. but i didn't want to like oh, i didn't want to talk carlos about it brought, the, brought up a good point the story he he wants the yes. stormtrooper popcorn helmet. yes carlos so i i was <laughs> eyeing the job of the hut uh bucket we're not the popcorn bucket people we're not either. we're not but it's it's a cool but bucket. you know who is our daughter every time me and our son go to ride a ride and you're left alone with her it's like every time we come back, but she's I want got that a one, and I want the bucket. I want the other the the trooper helmet. The because trooper like, helmet looks because it was like the day before we were joking with our friend group. We're like, oh, I just want to eat out of a stormtrooper helmet, and I'm, boom, it pops up. We're like, so, ah, FBI guy listening yeah. to our conversations. <laughs> they got it out quick. <laughs> Mock that up fast. Oh yeah, AP. So we've seen the first two episodes. No, we've only first seen episode? the first episode because it was really long. It was like an hour and okay. fifteen. Yeah. We're we're digging Fallout right now. I was actually thinking we should go watch that yeah. like now, go curl up in our jammies. If I got a popcorn bucket, it would be the Falcon. Okay, one. so Rebel Moon. Everybody's giving it a, a little recommendation. Oh, seasons one and two have been getting really bad ratings of Rebel Moon. How oh. many seasons are there? It's not brand new. Cal says, "Oh my God, Fallout was so good." I've heard great, great things about Fallout. I need to watch the big bluey episode still. It was pretty good. I started feeling things like our daughter was watching it earlier, and I was like, "I want to, I want to see what's going on." But I was cooking dinner. <laughs> I was like, dang it! I was like, "I'm gonna burn our dinner if I don't <laughs> pay attention." Jeffrey kept going back to he couldn't get in a Fallout, going back to Skyrim. We see. I never, I never, I never played any of the Fallout games. No. I knew from afar, but I knew nothing about yeah. it. So it was kind of nice that they have like an episode zero that. Kind of gives like a nice background. It's like previously on, like it just like kind of lays out the land before the show starts, which was really helpful, like very very helpful. Um, so don't skip episode zero if you are going to watch that show. <laughs> and then I've been getting back Shogun. into uh, yes, Carlos. I want to see that one too. That one for sure. I want to see. Yeah, you but that's your... one of those things I have to wait till like there's like no kid like because it's a that was a super bloody. I, I I think it's like a 
ready to mature type of thing. Oh, so. well, that's the other thing with Fallout. It's like we can't watch Fallout around the kids. kids either. You know, we can watch and I have been watching Great British Bake Off. <laughs> <laughs> It's my sh- it's like a comfort show to me and I like to watch it and like put it on to just fall asleep to. Yeah. Paul Hollywood undeproved. <laughs> That's what I watched on the plane the whole way home. <laughs> it was bread week. Oh, Shogun's red, getting a lot. Red Shogun. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of a lot of catching up. But I mean, the thing is is like we got we still got Bad Batch. We're going to get you know Tales of the Empire. Like, there's just stuff that's constantly. Wait coming a second. Out. This comment, Scott McClellan says, just order from HEB pre made. Wasn't Scott McClellan like the president of HEB? <laughs> this is not, please tell me this is not the same Scott McClellan because I will absolutely die and just tell you how much I love butter tortillas and I wish I could eat them on the daily. <laughs> we do love some HEB here in Texas. No one likes a soggy bottom. Uh, we've watched Is It Cake, but that one hasn't caught us like Great British Bake Off. Did you see the, the Millennium. Millennium Falcon cake with the black spire in the background? I saw it on Ordinary Adventures and it looked amazing. No, we need. I haven't watched any of the Ordinary Adventure stuff from the last like for the Star Wars stuff for the Star Wars stuff because that that came out while the I was Star on Wars the Night. trip. I started watching through the Star Wars Nine stuff, uh, but I don't remember. The cake. Mary Berry. I miss Mary Berry. I do love Prue, though. Talking about Great British Bake Off. There's a new host now, too. Like a new... uh, It's still Paul Hollywood and Prue. But the other two, like the actual hosts, they changed one of them out again. They do that every time, like every couple years. But it's good stuff. It's been a good season. Okay. You know, you don't care. (laughs) It's like, that's fine. Uh, Dawn's got to run till the spires. Good night, Dawn. I think we're wrapping up here soon. Yeah. More for Shogun. Is it better than the original miniseries? Oh, was there another one before that? Which one? Oh, Scott says not the one from AGB or the White House Press Corps. Just a security guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. I'd be like, oh my god, a Texas celebrity. <laughs> no, it's Houston. Was it? Was Scott Houston or no Texas? I, I don't know because I, I I just remember like back in the day it's like the commercial when Scott was on the commercials all the time. HEB is like the Texas grocery store. Like it is huge here. There's Every, like original Shogun miniseries. Oh, in the eighties. Wow. But like HEB was it's like it's like Whataburger. Like it is just this cultural phenomenon. Anyway, I just remember on Facebook people would be like, "Oh my God, I saw Scott McClellan." <laughs> Got some bags of popcorn from the people that made the Star Cruiser spiced popcorn. Please DM me with that information. I think I saw somebody was saying that they had ordered. Is it the same people? Dude, that popcorn was so good. Mm. Oh, I love popcorn. Popcorn and Fallout? Maybe. I think that sounds kind of nice. That sounds kind of nice, huh? All right. Well, I think that's it then. Thank you guys for hanging out Thank with us. Thank you so much. Especially everybody. on a different night. Yeah. It's a Friday it was, night. It was fun. You had to show off some shoes, some helmets. You're still riding that high, huh? I am. You're like winning a, an escape room. Oh, we crushed it too, man. <laughs> and I have a voice again. Yeah. So I didn't have that until last time. next time. Love you guys. Bye.